Howdy y'all, I'm TJ with Bear Clan Gaming. This is 7 Days to Die guide video on lockpicking, including uh, what lock storage units there are in the game and the different ways to open them. We'll start out with the wall safes and death safes, two of the most common types of locked items you'll find in 7 Days to Die. Here are the stats for the wall safe, 2,500 hit points, 40% explosion resistance, and the death safe has identical stats. So it requires 2,500 hit points in order to unlock the item, and then another 2,500 to completely destroy it. Next, we move on to the gun safes. The gun safes have 5,000 hit points and 40% explosion resistance. Then the reinforced chests are the next ones. They have 7,000 hit points, but no explosion resistance. The small hardened chests have 10,000 hit points and 40% explosion resistance. And the large hardened chest, again, 10,000 hit points and 40% explosion resistance. This does include items like locked doors or locked wooden chests, but uh, the wooden chests are pretty easy to get to with just about any tool. And the locked doors, the same thing goes for getting them open as it does for the safes and the chests. So let's discuss some of the tools and explosives we can use to get into these items. Now, on the subject of tools, we could do many videos on tool stats and the best uses and all the perks and skill books and everything. But for this video, we just want to focus on getting things open. So I have an assortment of tools down in my toolbar, starting with a level one stone axe to level six stone axe, the level one iron and level six iron, the level one and six steel, level one and six auger. And then we move into the breaching slugs, the time charges, and finally the lock picks. And we'll go over all those. So the stats for the stone axes are thus 21.5 block damage. Now that's against a wood block. If you use a tool that isn't spec specifically for that material, so a stone axe is good against wood, iron pickaxe is good against iron, they don't do as much damage. So in my real world testing, I found that stone axes at level one do about 10 damage or locked iron containers such as the wall safe, the desk safe, the gun cabinet, the reinforced chest, and the two hardened chests. Now rather than just watching me beat into this very slowly, I will tell you the stone axe gives 10 damage per hit. You are able to attack 102 times per minute with a damage per second of 17. So that means it takes 147 seconds or just over 2 minutes and 27 seconds to unlock a wall or desk safe. And as you can see up on the screen, I have listed every tool, level 1 and level 6, and level 6 modded for damage, max uses, attacks per minute, and damage per second. As you move down this list, you can see your damage per second usually goes up, maxing out at a level 6 modified auger at 232.5 damage per second, yielding your fastest way to get into lock containers using these specific mods. The one that does change the damage modifier is the Iron Breaker mod. So this is the one I've chosen for optimal modded level sixes. Now, what does all that information translate to? So you should see up on the screen the tool with the desk safe, which is 2,500 hit points and how long in seconds it takes to open it. So the level one stone axe is 147 seconds all the way down to the completely modified level six auger at 10.7 seconds. You also see the column desk safe with max 69er. So when you max out minor 69er, it cuts those times in half. Now, if you have a gun safe, you have to double these times and so on for the hardened chest, you quadruple them. But just to give you an idea of how long it takes for each individual tool to actually break into the desk safe. Well, that's fantastic for tools, but what about the other items in the game? Specifically three, the breaching slugs loaded into my auto shotgun, the time charges, and the lock picks. Now the lock picks you don't have to have in your bar to be able to use them. Now you should be able to see up on the screen the lock picks, time charges, and breaching slugs. The information includes the price to craft it in game using the materials required. So for the lock picks, it's one forged iron, one mechanical part. That'll cost uh, the player eight dukes to craft, roughly. Probability to open with lock picks with no perks is about 18%, I found over testing. And with fully loaded perks requiring at least 11 skill points, your probability of opening goes to 75%, so it's pretty good. Uh, that doesn't include the uh, boost you can find in the uh, Great Heist book either. Uh, next is time charges. Price in game is approximately 30 dukes to craft. Uh, real damage with no perks is 4,344 on average, and with fully loaded perks, 
which requires 21 skill points to unlock the Demolition Expert, you get that damage up to 6,283. The required materials for the time charges include 20 iron, 10 gunpowder, and 1 electrical. The breaching slugs, it's 31 dupes to craft because it requires 3 forged steel, 2 clay, 4 gunpowder, and 1 scrap polymer. Real damage with no perks or mods is approximately 1,621. If you are able to max out Boomstick, which requires 21 skill points, you can get that damage up to 2,701. And real world damage max perk and fully modded auto shotgun level 6, the maximum output for the breaching slugs comes to 3,133 per shot. So the single best item to open up locked chests is going to be the fully modded level six auger. But what about in the beginning? Not everybody is at their end game stage. Well, in the beginning, the lock picks are the easiest item to obtain. You can even start crafting lock picks after the first beginning quests are complete. You only need to be level one in perception, which everybody is at the start, and you only need to spend one skill point in order to craft lockpicks. So they are your go-to beginning game. If by chance you find The Great Heist Volume 3 early in your game, time charges would be a good option. If you find Shotgun Messiah Volume 2, Breaching Slugs may be a way to go. Forged Steel is hard to come by, but you can get it. I'd stick with lockpicks until you can at least get into iron pickaxes. When the cost is relatively low, just requiring forged iron, and the speed is sufficient where you won't be standing there pounding on it all day. Now you might ask yourself, okay, I'm not early game, but I'm not late game either. What do I do? Well, if you were a perception build, or you found the Great Heist Volume 3, time chargers are where you want to go. They're not incredibly expensive to make. Iron's easy to come by, so are electrical parks. Usually you can get gunpowder from a bunch of different sources. So time chargers are good. They're really good. If your perception build and you want to invest the 18 required skill points to unlock it, or you find Great Heist Volume 3. If you're a strength, tools are going to be your way to go. You're going to get to iron really fast. And once you reach level 2, level 3 iron pickaxes, the speed is sufficient to not matter anymore on how low your hit points are doing. And your durability is going to be sufficient. You'll be able to use the iron pickaxe for a number of items. Breaching slugs are the odd one. They're not good early game because they require forged steel. But they're also not really great late game because you have better options like the time charged or fully maxed out perception with lock picking. Where you may lose one every other use. And because they only require forged iron to make, they're not super difficult to come by or craft. So lockpicks or high level tools are the two ways you want to go about it. Special note on lockpicks, if you are ever near a trader and you find jailbreakers, they guarantee 100% lockpicking success for 10 minutes. They also provide five food. So if you know you're going into a large POI, uh, tier four, tier five maybe, it may be wise to take a jailbreaker with you with a couple of lockpicks just to guarantee you're able to do it. Or if you know of a POI with a number of safes, such as uh, Dishong Tower. But that's what I think of uh, lock picking in the game. For the individual tools, breaching slugs, time charges, lock picks. Please comment down below what your preferred method of lock picking is in the game, whether it's explosives, lock picks, tools, breaching slugs if you're crazy. Please share this video with your friends in case they have a hard time with lock picks and seven days to die. And please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Greatly appreciate it. And until next time, laters.